Bombay High Court will hear Kotak Mahindra Bank's plea on RBI's promoter shareholding norms today. Yash Jain is here with the details. Yash, uh, the case has been adjourned to the 1st of April. Firstly, take us through a background of this case and what was argued. Take us through point to point on what Kotak Mahindra Bank uh, Council argued as well as what RBI Council had to say today. Uh, so, Kritika, certainly some more delay coming in as far as uh, even the start to the arguments and merits as far as uh, the Kotak Mahindra Bank case is concerned with respect to uh, promoter shareholder dilution. Uh, now, as far as today's hearing is concerned, uh, we did not get to hear much uh, apart from the fact that Harish Salve, uh, senior counsel for Kotak Mahindra Bank, uh, uh, saying it before Bombay High Court that uh, it's not very easy when it comes to a promoter like Uday Kotak and the quantum of share which it holds, in, which he holds in Kotak Mahindra Bank to sell that stake, uh, it is difficult. And even uh, going uh, uh, to a point uh, and suggesting that if required, then the promoter would not vote uh, beyond that 20% shareholding which he is supposed to have till May 2020. Uh, a suggestion which has not been accepted by the court. But uh, just to conclude, as far as today's hearing is concerned, these were two crucial arguments which came in. But uh, due to... Uh, Arifai, lack of time, are you saying that the court did not give uh, that that provision wherein Kotak was actually seeking time till May 2020 to cut stake? Uh, has the court uh, squashed that? Is that what no, you're saying? No, it was just a suggestion which was made by Kotak Mahindra Bank's counsel, but of course not... Uh, uh, an acceptance as far as the court is concerned. The court hasn't commented as far as that particular suggestion is concerned. It still uh, hangs in balance as far as that uh, suggestion goes. But uh, due to lack of time, of course, the hearings could not proceed beyond that point and the matter was uh, adjourned till April 1. Uh, as far as the context of the whole issue is concerned, of course, we've been reporting it. Uh, it's uh, the Kotak Mahindra promoter, Uday Kotak, has diluted his stake to 20% from 30% through uh, issuers of preference shares. And RBI has a, its reservations when it comes to that uh, mechanism of issuance of preference shares for stake dilution. Now, it remains... Okay, we have Lata also joining in. Yes, uh, just clarify, Kotak has... Uh, the Kotak side has agreed has only requested time till May 2020 to cut stake? No, uh, so they suggested that they would not vote or they would only vote for that 20% stake which they are supposed to hold till May 2020. It was a suggestion which was made No, which means by... uh, what happens on May 2020? Are they going to bring down stake? Why would they ask for permission only till May 2020? Uh, that was exactly uh, in terms of clarification. We could not get any further clarification because the judge uh, was insistent uh, due to lack of time on deferring the hearing. Okay. But that was a suggestion which was made by the Kotak Mahindra Bank Council at this point of time. Of course, we need to understand what is the importance of that date. And of course, as we get to speak to mm. the council, once he comes out of the court, we'll get that clarity as well. Okay. That was a part of the argument that was made. Yash, also take us through what the RBI Council argued in court today. Uh, well, nothing coming from the RBI Council. Of course, uh, Kotak Mahindra Bank uh, had filed the affidavit, which uh, RBI had filed the affidavit as far as the reply to Kotak Mahindra Bank's first set of arguments are concerned. That we are given to understand happened just yesterday. And RBI still needs time as far as assessment and examination of that reply is concerned. So they were anyway in a mood to seek more time to assess that and then present the argument. So as of today's hearing, the very short hearing that happened, mm. uh, not, no arguments coming from the central bank. So, Lata, the main point that stands out today is just the argument that was made by Kotak Mahindra Council, a suggestion rather, that they are open to cutting stake uh, and they want time till May 2020. That's a very that big stake. giveaway. I mean, yeah. if you are holding that you are already uh, in uh, obedience of the law by preference shares, then this offer for 2020 clearly indicates, okay, your our understanding of the law is different from yours, and we bow to your understanding of the law, only give us more time. So, mm -hmm. uh, and this uh, demand or this uh, uh, offer that we will not vote for, uh, we will not vote beyond 20%, I don't think is a major concession. Anyway, they can't vote beyond uh, uh, they, their voting rights are restricted to 20% under the current Banking Regulation Act. So uh, that is what I think Harish Salvi must have said, that anyway mm. we are not exercising voting rights. So, so uh, you us, know, what does it matter if we hold more uh, equity shares because our voting rights are anyway restricted to 20% under the Banking Regulation Act? This is, of course, something a lot of legal luminaries and even banking experts have pointed out, saying that, you know, there is no need to insist that everybody mm. should bring their shares down mm. because the voting rights are anyway capped. So that is an argument that uh, even those who are, are, you know, are on the RBI side of the fence agree 
that not much can be done by a promoter okay. because his voting rights are capped at 20 percent. But I think if uh, uh, the uh, Kotak team, Kotak Mahindra Bank team, is asking time till May 2020 mm -hmm. to cut stake, then it generally is falling in line. I mean, uh, they agree that this is what the law says, then that is what the law says. So we are ready, but it's a large block. You know, it is yeah. over one lakh crore of shares and uh, obviously it will be an overhang on the stock if they were given you know one month to uh, obey or you know less than that so give us a little more time and we will in course of time find enough buyers uh, for the stake so i think this is pointing to an amicable settlement okay that we have uh, a... maybe rbi will agree to give more time mm -hmm. and uh, uh, maybe that is how this uh, this uh, 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 you know uh, a problem will get uh, resolved. That's how it was in the previous cases, in Indusind Bank's hmm. case. In all the previous cases, uh, especially in Indusind Bank case, RBI went on giving more time because the banks would, the owner would argue that, you know, if I dumped so many shares, uh, it would be destabilizing for the market. And therefore, they were given more time. And I think Kotak is uh, basically seeking uh, exactly mm -hmm. the same route. Give me a little more time and I will abide by the law. So the case has been adjourned until April 1st. So that's when I guess uh, today was largely Kotak Mahindra Bank Council uh, arguments and we'll hear RBI's arguments uh, after that. Uh, we have one legal luminary joining in, Abhija Divanji. Abhija, what do you make, make of the point uh, that uh, the Kotak Council has argued today seeking time till May 2020 to cut stake and that they won't vote in excess of 20% till that period? What do you make of these comments and do you agree with the point that Lata was making that it could be hinting towards an amicable settlement? No, it seems to be because I think uh, what uh, what has been seemed to have argued in court is that there is a law uh, and the one had that has to be abided by. I think the argument until now uh, has always been at a level higher to say is it correct to reduce stake as again Lata mentioned. Uh, so I think now the, con the clearly the conceding fact is that there is a law and they're willing to abide by it. But I personally do believe, and I've also said that in the case of promoter shareholdings ever, even in terms of pledge of shares. But the minute you dump shares in the market at one go, uh, I think that destroys not only market cap, but sentiment and even prospects to a great extent. So I think there is collateral damage in trying to dump shares uh, uh, immediately. So it's pretty justified to say, give us some time to do it. If it's, uh, by the way, if it's in a time-bound range, there is bound to be implication on, on the pricing. But having said that, I think at least uh, there is now a commitment to divest. Yeah, uh, to be fair, time was given from 2013 when the rule was in place. Uh, so it wasn't as if uh, uh, Uday Kotak uh, was asked to bring down his stake uh, in, say, September of 2018. By uh, and asked to abide by December of 2018. There was enough time, but uh, uh, you know, time was running out, and Oday Kotak thought that he had a way out because the legal wording quite clearly was not as clean as it should have been. RBI has clearly erred in terms of drafting of the rules, and therefore, preference shares could have been uh, a way out. But uh, the spirit of the law clearly required that we want widespread ownership. That's what the law stated for the on tap licenses, and that is what we want even old, uh, uh, you know, people who had been issued licenses before the ONTAP uh, to abide by. Bandhan Bank abided uh, by that and brought down their uh, promoter stake from 80 to 60 percent and gave every indication that they will bring it down to 40 percent. So uh, it was very difficult to uh, uh, for Kotak to get an exception. And maybe that is why this olive branch that give us a little more time and we will. Now we have to see whether uh, the court steps in and agrees to it. Uh, whether it will come with a penalty or whether the court says uh, we believe you are in violation of the law and it is for the regulator to give you time or to give you a penalty or whatever, anything. This this case can go any which way. Mm. Uh, and we will have to wait really till April 1st. Uh, Abhizar, what would you think? Uh, uh, is that the way we should look at April 1st? No, absolutely. I think that's what's going to happen. Spot on, Dr. Okay. Yeah, just to add a point, uh, uh, the line that our uh, reporter had sent in is that the suggestion wasn't accepted by Justice Oka immediately mm. and he said that it is not as simple as that. Okay. So, of course, we have to wait and watch out for April 1st for that.